Okay, uh, welcome back everyone for the next segment. We have here uh, Sentinels. Congratulations guys for your victory. And thank you for being here and sharing your experience about this match. So right now we are going to open the floor to question from the media. Uh, please raise your hand and I will call on you. Remember when asking your question, please state your name and the outlet that you represent. We are going to start with uh, Steph. Hi, thank you. So I'm Casey from Straight Fee Sports. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say, guys, uh, great job on the win. So now, you know, one final match left, another elimination match against Genji. You know, the pressure is, is surely building up on the team, it being a rematch of the finals from Madrid as well. So I want to uh, I want to know what is the atmosphere on the team? How is the pressure? How is the mentality? Uh, th this question is open for anyone to answer. Okay. Can I, Eric? First of all, I don't think we have any pressure, and I don't want my teammates to feel any pressure either. I think, uh, I think we've been put in this spot before, where we're in elimination. It's deja vu all over again with Madrid. It's like Genji beat us first. We we knew we screwed up. We knew we didn't show up with confidence. Um, I think next match will be a lot different. I think uh, this match we won pretty cleanly 2-0. and I think uh, I think all these guys played amazing. Everyone communicated amazingly, and we I think we showed that we played with confidence as well. Um, so I think next match will be a lot different, but I, I don't think I don't think we have any pressure, and I don't want my guys to feel like they have any pressure either. I just want us to go out there and have fun. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, I just dropped an amazing speech, <laughs> and you just say that. Okay, I had to ruin it. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you so much. Okay, next question uh, goes to Xbox Pida. Uh, yes, thank you so much. Uh... Hi, I'm Snake from Sportskira Esports. Uh, first of all, congratulations on the win. My question is for Tens. So you had a week-long gap after your first match against Gen G. How helpful would you say was that for you and your team to sort of bounce back for today's matchup? I think it just allowed us to prepare a bit, um, see where we kind of messed up on the matches and uh, try to regain, regain our confidence uh, back from scrims. And I think moving forward... Um, it definitely feels like we we're playing more like ourselves, and that's a good sign. I think the first time we played against Shenji, it was pretty sloppy, and uh, we weren't really playing up to the par that we can normally perform at. Thank you so much, and good luck on the next match. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next question uh, is for Lucas Baut. Hello, everyone. I'm Lucas from Spot.net. My question is for Sassi. Oi, Saci, é, queria explorar um pouco mais o que você falou até na transmissão brasileira sobre as mudanças que vocês tiveram da, da derrota para essa vitória. É, o quão importante foi a conversa que vocês tiveram ao longo desses dias para ajeitar esses errinhos que vocês tiveram no, é, no jogo anterior para conseguir ter essa vitória agora e ter talvez um jogo bem mais conciso contra a Gengi agora? Cara, quando a gente assistiu o jogo nós contra a Gengi, eu acho que não foi nem mais os erros que a gente viu, né, não foi tantos erros estrategicamente falando, foi mais erro de questão de postura de dentro de jogo e a gente tava muito sem confiança e a, e a péssima performance que a gente teve em relação a isso foi muito evidente, sabe, então era difícil a gente assistir um, um, o nosso jogo contra a Gengi, achando que teve algumas coisas erradas estrategicamente e tal podia até ter, mas é difícil julgar baseado no, 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 na mentalidade que a gente tava no, no, no dia do jogo, né então, a nossa conversa foi mais ou menos isso. A gente falou, cara, vamos entrar confiante, porque contra a FPX, eles já são um time, eles são um time muito agressivo. E se a gente conseguir essa vitória, eu tenho certeza que, independente do time que a gente fosse enfrentar depois, né, que agora a gente sabe que é Genji, a gente ia conseguir lidar muito melhor. Então, acho que foi mais questão de atitude do que estrategicamente falando. Obrigado. Boa sorte para o próximo jogo. Obrigado. Obrigado. Uh, next question goes to Fernando. Thank you. Hi, guys. Congratulations on the win. My name is Fernando from Game Arena Brazil. My question is for Sassi. Sassizão, parabéns pela vitória. Fernando da Game Arena. Cara, fazia mais de um mês que a Sentinels não vence um jogo e, consequentemente, também um mapa da última vitória tinha sido dia 1 de julho contra a Cloud9 e ainda no VCT Américas. Queria saber a importância desse resultado visando né, um confronto difícil contra a Dindy. Claro que a Dindy chega com o status de, de atual campeão do Masters, uma equipe considerada das favoritas. Queria saber qual que é a importância desse resultado sólido hoje visando essa sequência do Champions. Cara, eu acho que vai dar uma outra cara para nossa nosso time. Eu, eu comentei um pouco sobre isso na transmissão, né? Eu nem 
faz muito tempo que a gente não, não ganhava uma série, né? Mas eu realmente não ligo. Eu acho que o nosso foco aqui é ser uma nova Sentinels, uma Sentinels que a gente era antes. E agora a nossa revanche contra a Jindy, né? Eu não vou sair falando que a gente vai ganhar, óbvio, né? Não sou louco de falar isso. Mas eu só a única coisa que eu quero é que a gente entre nesse jogo jogando o nosso jogo. Então, a, eu acredito que o resultado ele é muito consequência do nosso trabalho, do nosso preparo. Então, se eles vencerem, claro, o mérito, o mérito deles, mas tem que ser mérito deles, entende? Eu acho que a gente tem que mostrar o nosso jogo, mostrar o nosso, a nossa preparação que a gente teve e entrar no servidor muito mais ligado do que a gente entrou na, na nossa última partida contra eles. Então, é isso. Acho que esse jogo vai dar um up no nosso time. Obrigado, Ceci. Boa sorte. Thank you. Perdão, perdão. Thank you. Uh, next question uh, is from Ravitz. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, firstly, solid win again today once again. Uh, this one, just once again, on a much more lighter note. This goes for the entire game, though, of course. Uh, now, of course, you guys had like six days in between. I can't imagine you spent all of it playing and bond reviewing. So just tell me, what's the most fun thing you guys have done in Korea so far? We have only played. And only <laughs> hey, no way, bro. <laughs> but we have not left the hotel room. Oh. <laughs> All actuality, the only thing we've done is really eat food, to be honest. We've, we went to a movie. Oh, we yeah. watched oh, Deadpool. Oh, we went to a movie. Yeah. You guys that, went yeah. to a movie. Yeah, we went to a movie. And that was pretty fun. Deadpool versus Wolverine. You guys should go see that. It was, it was good. Thanks, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <That's> guys. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next question is from Siddharth. Uh, hello, guys. This is Sid from Sportskeeda. Uh, congrats on the win today. And I'd like to ask this question to Coach Kaplan. Uh, we finally saw Sentinels uh, move away from the deadlock pick on Lotus. And there's been a lot of, uh, you know, happiness and rejoice among Sentinel fans in social media. Uh, what would you say about the shift in the team comp on Lotus? And can we still see Sentinels opt for the deadlock pick in the future as well? I mean, I think we were definitely at a point where if we ran deadlock again and lost again, I would just lose my job instantly. <laughs> so uh, now we have a little bit of a buffer, and uh, you know, you'll just have to stay tuned to find out if we if we run it back or not. Uh, all right. Uh, thank you so much, and good luck with this, Jinji. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, we have one question here in the room. Ah. Okay. Hello guys and congratulations with the win. Um, in the break between the games, uh, uh, the head coach said that usually you struggle with the micro play, but today you were very confident and creative. So I wanted to know like what gave you this confidence. Uh, and my second question was like if you think that the momentum will keep going, but else is kind of after your speech, I have no doubts. So this is the question to anyone, like what gave you the confidence today? Thank you. I mean, I mean, the, I feel like the confidence comes when the people actually realize like everyone is in the team is like very good individually, and everyone can uh, be can be creative and innovate in game and not be rigid and go for plays and stuff like that. So, I mean, the first game was kind of like an off game for us, to be honest. Uh, there was like some problems we didn't play like ourselves, but in the six days we had in practice, we made sure to go back to those uh, micro plays and make sure we're more creative on defense and go for stuff. And uh, yeah, I mean, Jordan said that we're obviously very confident. And I mean, we're coming off a win, Genji's coming off a loss, so I feel like the pressure is on them. Thank you, Amin. Thank you, Amin. Thank you. That was, like, have... that was really good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, we have another question here in the room. Hello, I'm Via from NerdyTube. My question is for John QT. Uh, today you play your first match against a Chinese team. How did you prepare for the match, and what are your overall thoughts on the Chinese region? Uh, we just prepared the match how we do usually. I mean, we just study the opponent and kind of like discuss what we want to do and how we want to approach it. Obviously, FVX has a very unique style. They play very special comps, and they're very aggressive. Everyone has their own play style. They just go for stuff. They don't really care about, uh, like, like, man advantage or, like, the correct play they just go for the plays they like and uh i think the chinese region is very strong as you can see i feel like uh i mean adg almost won yesterday uh trace made it as fr uh, first seed so i mean the chinese team is only the first year in franchising for them and i expect 
them to be even better, better, and I think we'll see a Chinese team win a Master Art Champ along the line for sure. Thank you. Thank you, and we have one last question. Hi guys, this is Jacob from Capital S Esports .com. My question's for Kaplan and anyone else that wants to answer. Uh, FPX is a super strong team that's had a lot of success in China this year. Do you have any words for that team or maybe their fans? Uh, yeah. Uh, 对不起,我不会说英文. Uh, 这个比赛是我们的第一次和中国电竞队的比赛. Uh, 我觉得FPX uh,非常厉害. Jinian uh, I'm very excited to hopefully play against more Chinese teams at this tournament. I'm just looking at everyone's faces when they got faced. <laughs> I, I was trying to see if they like understood anything through their faces. <laughs> that was very hard, and I'm sure there were a lot of mistakes. Was it good? I'm, I'm proud of you. Are we good? Confirmation? That, good? that was good? Yeah, yeah, was good. Nice. yeah we got confirmation. I'm, I'm proud of you. Hell yeah. Oh, Did you tell them to buy the Send Bundle? Oh no, whoops. Okay. Uh Nimen Ingai Mai uh Sentinel the BLP. Nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All the okay. Uh thank you guys uh for being here today. Again, congratulations. And okay, we are going to see more for you in the future. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for thank you. Us. Bye. Thank you for the media to join in us. Uh, we are going to make a little uh, quick pause and we are going to see you in the next press conference after the next match. Thank you.